friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I wanted to take you along with me to Hobby Lobby and roam all of the Christmas aisles to check out all of the new decor that they have out for this year. Cannot wait. And then once we go through and do all of our shopping, I will meet you back here and I will share with you everything that I pick up. <music> Everything in the Christmas section is now marked at 40% off, so it's the perfect time to get started shopping, especially with all the unknowns as to what is going to be in the stores. But thought I would start out in the Christmas tree section. I love these snowy pine trees. They come in three different sizes, super unique. But just to make sure to keep on watching, I am saving my most favorite aisles for last. great aisle of Christmas ornaments never disappoints. Now this is a section you almost need to go and see in person because there are so many to look through, but I thought I would share just a few of my favorites. This row is not fully stocked, but it looks like they have a good amount of stockings and tree skirts available to show you what is coming out this year. Lots of tree skirts to choose from in all different sorts of colors. I love these knit stockings in the gray as well as the ivory. I believe those were super popular last year, so I'm so glad they brought those back. But I definitely think there is more to come in this aisle as well as many others as well. The tablewares are not set out yet. And so if you want to see a part two Hobby Lobby Christmas shop with me, let me know in the comments below. I would love to have a reason to go back and shop more of their Christmas section. The wreaths and the garlands always seem to go very quickly when they do come out, but I'm really drawn to a lot of their flocked ones that they have out. I also really loved this like pine wreath, but it has some gold leaves in it as well. It is so pretty and it just really sparkles. I always enjoy looking at the My Little Christmas section, perfect for kids' mini trees, but especially love the bottle brush section that they always come out with, some new colors to choose from, as well as the mini kind as well, but I love this little rolling pin, perfect for your tiered trays. Of all of the aisles, I would have to say the ornaments are fully stocked, all kinds of different colors, also some new ones to be found. I really love these polar bears, super cute. And I do have to say, I really love adding some of the silver glittery decor to our Christmas tree. It just really sparkles at night when the lights are on.
I would have to say these snowshoes are my favorite and they're a very good size as well. But something to always keep in mind as well when you are looking at Christmas ornaments is that you can also use a lot of these pieces in your tiered tray decor as well. They are the perfect size. The picks have also become a new favorite of mine over the past couple of years. I love using these to fill in just gaps in the tree. It just adds another texture and element of decor. So I thought I would share with you a few of my favorites and also just a few new ones that I found that they have out. I have two questions for you. One, I would love to know which row is your favorite to look at when it comes to Christmas decor. I am so excited for just the farmhouse decor rows that I have coming up. I would say that those are mine. And then my other question for you is, do you feel like your Hobby Lobby is stocked similar to mine or do you have more or less in your store? But I do just want to say thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I'm always glad to have you along shopping with me. I have a lot of Christmas content heading your way. This is kind of kicking things off. So if you love Hobby Lobby, Christmas decor, anything about holiday specific decorating, you're going to want to make sure you are subscribed. I would love to have you stick around. Grinch decor is out again this year and that always seems to sell so quickly. I think there's a Grinch following, but I just love this aisle for decorating the kids' bedrooms.
we are now into what I like to call my favorite section of the entire Christmas area, and that would be the farmhouse decor. I'm always drawn to the red pieces, and you know I will not leave the building without a pillow, so stay tuned to see which one I end up picking up. But I would say there is a very good mix of some pieces that come back year after year, as well as some new items as well. If you are enjoying today's video, I would appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. We are now moving into more of that neutral decor, more wintry items that I feel like you could use even after the holidays are over. I always love to check out the nativity sets as well. I did see a few new signs that I just adore. These pillows have some black as well as some green in them. I'm always drawn to the plaid pillows, but also this star is new. Super pretty for a front porch or inside as well. I hope I am on the nice list this year. I think the kids would really like that sign. But all kinds of different trees and signs in this row. Spoiler alert, I do pick up this little mini truck. It is adorable. But I am seeing a lot of the things still in the stores that I picked up last year. If you would like to go back and watch last year's Hobby Lobby shop with me and haul for even more Christmas content, I will have that video linked down below in the description box. I do think there's more to come when it comes to some of the larger pieces of decor or wall art specifically, but they always do such a good job of decorating these little middle displays.
the final section I'm going to be sharing with you in today's video is the floral department. Sometimes I forget they even have it, but there are so many things to choose from, whether it is a natural piece of greenery or something super glittery and glam, there's something for everybody. I was pleasantly surprised to see a good amount of decor out already now they didn't have everything I could tell they still had some bins on the very top shelves and of course the tablewares or things for a tablescape were not out yet and that is definitely something I would like to do this year is set up a tablescape for Christmas morning we usually do a big breakfast that morning and I just think the kids would love it if I put together like a fancy table after we open all of our gifts so that I think is on my list to do. Let me know if you would like to go back and check out all that stuff or if you'd like to see the tablescape at some point as well. But a good mix of things and how things work, this is round one and then once I start decorating, specifically with our Christmas trees, I'll decide, oh, I might want to grab a few more picks or a few more ornaments in this color or that color. And so there's usually another trip entailed going to Hobby Lobby. And so everything, of course, you saw was 40% off. So I'll just tell you what the regular price was and then you can imagine 40% off. So I don't have to do all the math in my head. <laughs> but anyways, the first thing I grabbed was this Knit Cozy tree skirt but it's that chunky super soft and I'm thinking so I have two ideas for this one it's either going to go up in my bedroom upstairs I bought a small pencil tree there last year and I don't have a tree skirt so this might go under that tree or another idea that I thought of is that you could layer your tree skirt similar to how you layer your doormat in a rug I mean, you could do that too with this tree skirt. So I have a bright red tree skirt that I think I want to tone down just a little bit. So I'm going to see how it works the layering first, but otherwise this will be going up in our bedroom. So $34.99. I think this was, so this is 30 inches and a standard tree skirt is 48 inches. So it is a little bit smaller and I just love, it's just a different texture to add. I'm going to save the greenery and picks for last, but you know, I could not resist this truck. This to me is so pretty. It's like a whitewashed wood color. Super fun. It says farm fresh Christmas trees on the side. And of course it has a Christmas tree in the back. I just love the color and the size of this. You could totally fit this in a tiered tray or I think it would work really well on a side table in your living room. I'm not quite sure where this will end up. Oh, or the kid's barn. This would look so fun in front of that. So normally $12.99 for this, but I have a weakness for trucks, especially around Christmas time. So I had to grab this one. I'm always on the hunt for more wintry decor items, things that I can leave out after the holidays are over. And I saw this snowflake. I'm like, ooh, that's perfect perfect for a little tiered tray so it's like a wood tone and then the white is painted on the snowflake and it was normally $4.99 speaking of tiered tray decor I grabbed this little mini cutting board it says ho 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 on it I believe they had one that said noel and joy and I left the joy behind because I have an abundance of things that say joy so I thought ho 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 was fun I usually will decorate a tray in more of like a Santa's workshop theme so this is perfect for in the kitchen but you could also use this as an ornament as well so this was a fun find this was actually in the row where they were starting to bring out some of the tablewares. I didn't share this aisle with you in the video because there really wasn't much there. I had to dig this out of a bin. So this one was $2.99. So with the discount, it was only a dollar something. So great find with that too. Also something you could use year round, just flip it. And then you have a little mini cutting board. So many 
ornaments to look at it's almost a little bit too overwhelming to look through all of them but I grabbed just two because we have plenty but it's always fun to add a couple every single year but these are the last two that they had so I'm guessing these might be going fast this year but it's just like a little mason jar with a couple snowy trees in it and some twine very simple but it is adorable I mean, this is probably something you could use on a tray, but I will most likely hang this on a tree. So fun. And this one was $3.99, so this one had green trees. And then the only other one that they had was this one with the gold. We will find a place on one of our trees for these cute little ornaments. So I loved those. We go all out for decorating the kids' bedrooms, and I saw this bottle brush tree and instantly thought this would look so fun in Macy's room. I am almost tempted to go grab one more, but I want to look through her decor that we have for her room already before I go and buy another one. But I saw the pink bottle brush tree and had to grab it for her. This was normally $5.99. It's a pretty good size and you know, it's kid friendly too. Very random purchase. Had no intentions of buying this, but they had a whole display of these, and you all know I've been obsessed with these lately. It's a puzzle. So this one is some fun Christmas cookies. So I just envision us as a family working on this on our coffee table in the living room over a weekend or whenever for that matter. But this one was normally $14.99. They had so many puzzles to choose from, but I love the cookies. 500 pieces is a little bit more than I would have preferred, but I know we can get it done. So I did grab a puzzle. I'm really good at random purchases because here's another one that's a red t-shirt. It's not like your standard, just basic 100% cotton shirt. This is the Next Level brand. And their shirts I think are always 30% off. I think these like when they're on sales like eight dollars so not a bad deal but of course I'll make one with my Cricut for the holidays I got a large so it's super comfortable and oversized and so I grabbed a shirt I have a feeling that these will probably start selling out soon as well so I just wanted to have this on hand for maybe a snow day or something like that where I can make a shirt I'll most likely make one for the kids too so I'll have to go back and try to find some for them but I was running low on time but I wanted to at least grab this one for now I believe they had these flocked stars last year but i never saw them personally in our store this was 9.99 i had to kind of search through them to find one that looked okay and that also had the battery pack because they do light up so that's very exciting but just a fun way to add a pop of greenery without it being another mini christmas tree i have a lot of those I was thinking this could go by our nativity set, but I am not quite sure yet about that, but I had to grab one. In the row with all of the mini Christmas trees, they had just a few of these little wreath stands left, so I went ahead and grabbed one. $14.99, it is black, all kinds of different things you can hang from this. I envision a mini wreath because I love mini wreaths and I also picked up a wreath there too but isn't that cute it's just a fun way to add some height to a space so yeah I th I'm looking forward to using that I think it would be really fun on a mantle or just even a side table your hearth lots of different options with this and then this is the mini wreath that I picked up I believe this was a new one that they had come out but I just like the style of greenery and the flocked snowy look that it has this was $7.99 I also grabbed this plant or I guess faux greenery in the pot I just love the narrowness of this and the height so it's perfect for decorating any sort of a shelf I have a few places in mind for this possibly like a bathroom shelf or a bookshelf I'm not sure but I just loved how tall and skinny this was not like a standard Christmas tree this was $12.99. I also picked up this pillow. I totally almost forgot about it, but I have seen these. I think Kirkland's had these a few years back and they hadn't had them for the longest time. And then I saw it, I was like, oh my gosh, yes. 
I love pillows and you knew I'd grab a pillow or two. I'm bound to purchase a couple, but don't worry, I will declutter a couple <laughs> too. But I just love the red plaid and the Mary. It doesn't say joy, so that's amazing. Just a really pretty pillow. So grab this one, $29.99. Coming up in my next video, I'm going to be talking a lot about my Christmas decorating plans and so on and so forth. So more to come on that. But a theme in my kitchen that I'm going to be adding is some more candy canes. And so I grabbed two of these candy cane little picks. I thought these were so fun and cute. I'm kind of lacking in the candy cane decor. So I've got two of those, $3.99. Could either leave them on the pick stick them in a vase i mean i think they're meant to go on a tree or something like that but i think also you could just pull the actual candy canes off of the pick and use them like that in the back of a truck that would be fun too so i grabbed two to get me started and yeah love those i'm covered in like flocked stuff right now but in that same row with the candy canes i picked up the last two of this pick but I think it's a pretty standard price, $3.99 for a lot of these. I love just the, it's simply flocked. It has the pine cones and I don't know, this one just really stood out to me and apparently it does to others too since it's already gone now since I grabbed those. But yeah, two of those, these just work out well if you're decorating something and you wanna stick in just a little something extra. These were all the last ones left in this style. Crazy, I cannot believe it. But these are, I just really like these, number one. They are kind of a soft feeling. I also really like kind of how flappy they are. So I think that you could put them in a vase and they would kind of, you know, scatter out really pretty. Or you could, again, use them just to stick in if you need a little something extra. So $3.99 on these. And again, I grabbed the last three of these. I always forget that they have more Christmas back in the floral section. So as I was walking, I was like, oh yeah, I need to stop and check that out. I had to grab these. I just couldn't leave them. I love these white balls. They remind me of little snowballs. And they're not like your just typical greenery or flower only grabbed one normally $9.99 but how fun would these be in like a black vase just like this I think there is just something different you know but yeah I love these little white balls <laughs> the last stems that I picked up were these they have had these I think year after year but I've never picked them up I was walking by I'm like yes this is exactly what I want to put in some of the vases that I just bought over the fall months so I grabbed four of them $4.99 each, so a very good price, but again, I just like kind of the shape of them, and I can use these into the winter months as well once Christmas is over. But they have a little bit of some berries on them, but nothing major. Really like these, and I need to put them down before I hit myself in the face. So that's everything I have to share with you for today's video. Thumbs up as always if you enjoyed this Hobby Lobby shop and haul video. I have another shop with me coming up very soon, probably in the next week. So make sure you're subscribed. Stick around if you love all things Christmas decorating, and I will see you in my next video. Thanks for watching, bye.